Okay, next we're going to get an improved solution using the stepping stone method. Um, for the stepping stone method, what I do is I check the unoccupied cells to see if there's a possibility of a better solution. All right, so for A, first one I'm going to check is what I'm going to say shipping height from Anaheim to Elizabeth, or A to E. So I want to check to see if I put one unit in there, if I could lower my shipping cost. So, but if I add one unit to Elizabeth, this becomes 201. So I'll have to take one unit away to make sure I keep my uh, supply uh, from Anaheim constant. Same thing here. By adding one unit, I've gone to 251. So I have to take one unit away, so my demand is constant. I've taken one unit away, I made this 199, so I have to add one back in to keep my supply constant. So by doing stepping stone, plus, minus, plus, minus, I've kept the integrity of my, uh, my supply and my demand. You notice three out of the four boxes have shipping in it. The only one, un only one that doesn't is my unoccupied cell. So, with this, by adding one unit, I'm going to add $16 of cost. I'm going to subtract $7 of cost. I'm going to add $10. I'm going to subtract 9 <clears throat> So 26 minus 17 is a positive 9. Um, next, I'm going to check my next cell, which I'm going to say is uh, B to D, or Birmingham to Detroit. I want to add one unit here, so I have to take one away, add one, take one away. So I step between my four boxes, so, for Birmingham to Detroit, it's plus 11, minus 6, plus 9, minus 10. Um, so I <clears throat> come up with 4 for that. All right. Moving on to my next, I'm going to try my uh, Cleveland to Detroit. Cleveland to Detroit's a little bit more because I have to do actually two boxes. Plus, minus, plus, minus. But these don't line up, so I've got to superimpose a second box here. So I kind of figure eight my way through, if you will. All right, we do the evaluation in the same way. So I add 16, I subtract 6, I add 9, I subtract 10, I add 7, I subtract 10. So this gives me a grand total of 6. And finally, I evaluate my final cell, which is Cleveland to Fort Worth, or my C to D. So I'm going to add one here take one away, add one, take one away. What I have is plus 12, minus 10, plus 7, minus 10. So I have 19 minus 20 is a negative 1. Now, what these numbers represent is the same thing we did in simplex. This is our net eval row. So we know that uh, transportation is a minimization problem, the Z-min. And to use the net evaluation rule, we know that all the numbers have to be greater than or equal to for it to be optimal. We have a negative 1 here, which is telling us that it, we are not optimal. So the negative 1 
also represents our uh, entering variable. So this is our entering here. And remember we had the plus, minus, plus, minus. So which one represents the leaving is the smaller of these two. So we're going to add 150 here. We're going to subtract 150 here. We're going to add 150 there. We're going to subtract 150 here. So the new variables are going to be 0, 200, 50, and 150. So this is my improved solution.